The second largest city in the nation is now without residential sanitation services. The second largest city in the nation is now without traffic officers, mechanics, custodians, and lifeguards. And the second largest city is now without the vital airport and port workers. That part sounds pretty essential to me. So now it's time for the CEO's office to respect our essential city workers, bargain in good faith, and sign a contract that honors our city workers with essential pay and benefits. We are showing the city what happens when you disrespect us. We're tired of the disrespect. And I know as a sanitation worker, our jobs are essential. From picking up the trash, making sure that the homeless services are taken care of, and taking care of 6,700 miles of sanitary sewers, 48,000 catch basins in the city of Los Angeles. We protect public health and safety at all times. We are the safety net. And it's time for the city of Los Angeles to understand that. It's time for the city of Los Angeles to bargain in good faith. Don't call us heroes one day and treat us like zeros the next. So we ask that we all join forces because the city is disrespecting us as we go to job sites. They close the doors on us. They go ahead and file labor charges on us, when all we're trying to do is maintain the city. We got the World Cup coming around. We have the Olympics. We're all proud workers that we want to clean up the city and maintain it. Who's ready for the Olympics? As a city worker of LAX, I say that we're a little important there, right? Just a little. Welcome to a hot labor summer. See, the weatherman said it was cool enough today, but he forgot that this is a hot labor summer, and the labor movement will bring the heat today, tomorrow, and every day between now and past Labor Day. And today boils down to two things. And we said it, we're going to say it again. It's about dignity and respect for all of our workers. Dignity and what? Dignity and what? Dignity and respect, whether you work in sanitation, whether you work in street services, whether you work in animal services, whether you're a law law person, whether you are on the front lines every single day, we have been slapped in the face. Uh, with a lack of dignity and respect. So we're here today to send a message. Are you with me? That city negotiators don't get to come to the table and break the law, okay, but not by not negotiating fairly. They need to come with authority to the table. But I wanna just say this. You see the strikes across this country that are happening right now. We are in a moment that workers are tired of being disrespected. Workers are tired. There are some knuckleheads in that building right there. Some out of touch freaking administrators that decided that when we were supposed to go back to the bargaining table, they said, oh yeah, never mind. We're gonna kick the can down the road. Is that a good idea? And at the same time, some of these goddamn administrators gave themselves an 11% raise. Is that right? I don't think that's right. But we're here today to send a message that this is what happens when you disrespect public sector employees, right? And all elected officials need to understand this is the power and you must do what's right and you must start changing the rules so that working people can actually live in dignity. And until you don't change the rules, we will keep escalating and more striking and more organizing new workers and more striking and more organizers until we shut the society down and they start doing what's right. So stay strong. SCA Local 99 is behind you every step of the way. 
and we will keep fighting together because we only win in unity and solidarity. Because when we fight, when we fight, when we fight! We're going back to the table next week with the Coalition of Unions. And if they, if they think they're gonna continue to break the law and disrespect us, this is what they can wait for. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you ready to fight and stand up and stop? This is what happens when you disrespect public sector employees, right? Are you? Are you? Are you?